dogs. Dan Dare. This guy named Dan Dare wanted to know. Let me see. How you do Portamento in Reaper. Okay, so I got a, have a synthesizer here and um, so you can see it's on monophonic mode and portamento is turned on um, so I'm going to add a MIDI item I did that by holding down control and um, dragging let me get this thing on the screen so you can see it um, hopefully you can hear that I'm zoomed way out. Okay. Um, let me delete that. Okay. If you're wondering how. Okay. So, basically, to do portamento, I mean, you just kind of lead two notes into each other. Let me. Let me initialize this preset. You know what? Yeah, you can see me playing on the bottom of the keyboard. So, down here. Oh, that's... See me hitting the buttons? Okay, portamento, modify. That's honestly the best way that I know how to do portamento. Is just let one note lead into the other. See what I did there? That's the only way that I know of. The other way to do it is with pitch bend. Go away. Pitch bend. So. The way you do pitch bend, first of all, <sighs> so MIDI CC is hard to, or er, I don't even remember if CC is the right word. Pitch? I don't know. Basically, MIDI can send like little messages down here. Like this is the pitch bend. This is equivalent, these little green bars are like equivalent to me moving uh, a pitch wheel on a keyboard. So, but obviously I want lots of them right in a row. So, my computer's going really slow, I apologize. I'm trying to remember, I think you hold down Alt or Shift. Maybe just disable grid lines, or maybe disable snap. There we go. So, I'm holding Control down, and I'm able to draw here. If I hold Shift, I can make a line with these green bars. See what I'm doing? And I have a hunch that any other DAW that lets you do this, um, that you don't have to worry about these like green bars down here, it's doing that for you behind the scenes and this is really, oh my goodness, I'm doing a video snooze. Um, it's doing that for you behind the scenes. It's kind of putting these, these green bars are like messages that get sent that says, now move the pitch wheel here, now move the pitch wheel here, now move the pitch wheel here. And there are just lots of them really fast. And then it's even behind the scenes, like back in here, it's smooth even more because, because it is, because it has to be. But check it out. If I, if I play that, you can watch the pitch wheel move here. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah. Anyways, um, so you can use pitch bend, but whenever I do portamento, I always just let the I just turn it on in my synthesizer, and I just let the notes run into each other. <laughs> And then when I want to have portamento on like two different tracks, like if I have a, 
melody and harmony, then I just are two different voices. I, I just make two different tracks, which is annoying to have to do. But and then you know, I try and then run them into a bus, like a parent track, like you know about parent tracks in Reaper. You can that sounds like parent trap. It's not. You can like drag items, drag them, and then and then this one goes into this one. Like anything, like here, let's do it this way. Or now that one's gonna go into this one. Yeah. Okay. Bye.